Hello everyone, we're gonna do the It's Art Trophy from the beginning to the end. It's gonna require us to do a whole bunch of hunting requests. Now there are spoilers, end game spoilers, so please click off the video. Now we're gonna start the hunting request here. It's gonna be a series of little side quests we're gonna have to do, ultimately leading us to the squirrel statue and then the trophy. Now I'm in a the post office here in Valentine and I'm gonna pull off this paper off the wall. And this is gonna start our first of five different hunting requests we have to do. Now, in order to complete this one, I'm gonna to have to get a rabbit and a squirrel carcass and they have to be perfect three-star condition. Now you can see there's five different requests. So we're gonna complete the first request, turn in the pelts. We're gonna actually mail them. Actually, carcasses, not pelt. We're gonna mail the carcasses. 24 hours later, Miss Hobbs is going to send us a reward and then the second in the line of quests so we're gonna get the perfect rabbit and squirrel carcass, mail them to her, wait 24 hours, get our reward, and then give an update on the second step of this quest line. So we need a perfect rabbit. Now I'm gonna just briefly show you where I got all of my uh, car carcasses. You know, you, when you use your binoculars, you can see in the bottom right corner it says black squirrel, and it also has three little stars there. That indicates that's a perfect uh, carcass. Now you have to use the appropriate weapon. I'm going to use the hunter's bow with small game arrows. It's very important you craft small game arrows. If you use regular arrows, you will destroy the quality of the carcass and it won't uh, count towards this quest line. So we're going to do this, pick it up. Now you can also get the varmint rifle, which is a small 22 caliber hunting rifle. I don't, I find the bow to be much safer to do. Now here's where I got the squirrel carcass. Again, same thing. I'm going to use the binoculars. I've already located my target, so I just shot him. Make sure it's a three-star uh, carcass that you're getting. Now for this one, we have an option to skin it or pick it up. You do not want to skin. You always want to pick it up. So I used the varmint rifle there, and then I got the kill, grabbed the carcass, and then I'm going to have to stow it on my horse. Now I mailed that to Miss Hobbs, and then she sent 24 hours later a quest update, so we're on the second step here. Now this is the Cardinal. This is a hunting ground I get a lot of my birds at, in the, including the Cardinal. You can get the Blue Jay, the, the Oriole as well. I like this area because the birds often sit on the rocks over here, so you don't have to try shooting them out of the air. Now I'm gonna use my bow on this as well. One thing you want to, you can also do is use your dead eye and then just kind of mark the target and then you'll just shoot the arrow and you won't miss. A very efficient way to do it. Now a rat, I'm actually just southwest of that previous location where the burnt out town is located and there's actually quite a few rats there. Make sure you use the binoculars, make sure you locate a black rat or any rat that's a three star carcass quality. Again, you're not skinning the animals. If you ever have the choice of skin or to carry it, you can't, you don't want to skin it. Now, woodpecker, these uh, little guys are a little tough. In this area on the map, there's actually a couple that will spawn in a 24-hour period. You're going to be doing a lot of bird watching. This one took me a long time to do. Uh, you have to make sure it's also a three-star quality. So, again, I'm going to use my small game arrows from the bow. And using dead eye, mark the target, and then shoot them out of the air. So that is it for hunting request two. Mail those pelts 24 hours later. You'll get a reward and an update. Next up, I'm going to go to this location. There's usually a few chipmunks running this spot here. Using a bow with the small game arrows will take care of these guys quite easily. They're very small and hard to find. So use your instincts, your eagle eye vision in order to help locate them as well as your binoculars. Now the possum I got in this location here, uh, this is the only part of the game where I found the most possums. You can get them in other areas. In fact, all of these animals you can get in multiple areas, but this is kind of the largest, uh, most likely area I found them in. Oriole, I'm back in my bird hunting grounds. I did not find a woodpecker here, unfortunately, but I did find the Oriole. This is the same spot I got the Cardinal. And I do believe I get my Blue Jay here as well. This one's a little trickier to see, but I found him. I'm just going to get close enough. You can shoot real far away with the bow uh, if you use your dead eye ability and then tag the target. Get too close, of course, they'll fly away, making it a little bit more difficult for you to get the uh, carcass. Now, the robins I found up here uh, above Ansberg, north of there. And this was a little tricky. I just kind of perused, the, uh, ran around this area and looked at all the different rocks. That you'll find this one sitting on the rock, and I'm gonna find one right there. It briefly shows up and see it on the bottom right of my screen. Unfortunately, it's gonna start to fly away, so I gotta quickly switch to my bow. 
Again, with the small game arrows. Make sure you're not using regular arrows. And he's going to start flying away. And I'm going to have to shoot him out of the sky. Again, with the Deadeye ability. Mark the target. It's not going to be too difficult. Of course, I just whiffed on that first one. Forgot to mark it. There we go. Now, in that area, I'm actually going to get a couple other things. I'm also going to uh, find my toad there. So there's the robin. I had to go get it. All right, so hunting request four, I sent in hunting request three's list, mailed it, got the reward 24 hours later in the update. So I'm back in that same spot where I got the robin. There's also going to be songbirds here. There's songbirds in a lot of different areas. This just happened to be out the closest to where I was located. And then there's also a sparrow in that same area. Again, these are going to just typically be sitting on rocks. And we do need to find a toad, and there are toads in this area as well, which we'll get to in just a moment. Let me shoot that sparrow. So, all right, just a little north of where I previously uh, was marked on the map, uh, on land, there's going to be a toad. You can find toad in other areas around water, but there's going to be a toad here. You'll find a couple toads in this area. That's why I chose this area, because, well, for one, I was already in this area. He's starting to run away. Go ahead and... Get him again. It's got to be a three-star quality carcass. Now, the skunk, there's a lot of skunks in a lot of different parts of the world. I'm going to go to this area here on the map um, by the Heartlands, just north of where it's marked. I do uh, some hunting in this area a few times for a few different animals. The skunk, I found most commonly uh, appeared at night. I don't know if that's just kind of uh, just my luck. All right, so a bullfrog, I'm going to go to this peninsula uh, south of the Van Horn trading post. It didn't take me too long. This is actually one of the animals I found the quickest. So just use the uh, eagle instincts here, eagle vision. Follow the tracking. Now, for some reason, that was only labeled as a two-star bullfrog. I'm not entirely sure why, but it did count. I got the quest update. All right, so that was hunting request four. Again, mail them through the post. 24 hours later, got my reward, and we are working on hunting request number five. Now, the cedar wax wings, these are all over the place. So I'm actually not far from where I got the woodpecker. Now, the tr trick with these guys is they're often in packs of, of multiple different birds. So not all of them are going to be three star. Some of them are going to only be two or one. So trying to f make sure you target the one that's three stars, that's the trickiest part. Otherwise, they're a pretty common bird. I was trying to mark two of them, in case, or two or three of them, in case I missed the or hit the wrong one. Now, in the bat, I'm going to go to this lake here, and there's a waterfall. Now, behind the waterfall, right at the very entrance, there's going to be some bats flying around. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, I killed the bat. I didn't know what quality it was. It just so happened to be a three star for me. Now, the Blue Jay, again, I'm going back to where I got the Cardinal and the Oriole. Again, sitting on the rocks, I'm going to find a Blue Jay. And we'll tag him. Now, the Crow, there are Crows everywhere. I just happen to be at this spot here. Crows are very common. Now, once we do all the hunting requests, we're going to have to do a whole bunch more other steps, which you will have to have completed the game in order to do. So, in, including the epilogue. All of this you could have done all the way as you're playing through the game. The next step after this will be uh, post-game. Now, the beaver, if you go to this spot, it's just south of where the the uh, bats were located. There's a whole bunch of beavers in this area. Just find a three-star one. I'm going to use the rifle, the varmint rifle, and do a headshot in the... Uh, dead eye mode now one thing i didn't mention is you have to kill the animals in a single hit if it takes a second hit to, to just kill an animal you will lo lost quality of the carcass unfortunately all right so now after that miss hobbs 24 hours later after you mail hunting request five you're going to get an invitation to go meet her so we're going to go do that and that's going to be just north of strawberry here Northeast of Strawberries, where we're going to find her house. Go in. You're going to have a conversation with this weird, crazy lady. It's a, kind of a fun little cutscene. Uh, we're going to skip it, though. Once that cutscene's over, you're going to your house, Beecher's house, uh, home. 
and you're going to go up to the mantle. She will have given you a squirrel. You're going to go up to the mantle, and you're going to place the squirrel on this mantle. The trophy will not pop here. The It's Art trophy won't pop here, at least. So now, unfortunately, Abigail really hates this thing. So what she's going to do is take it and hide it. Well, what you have to do is leave the uh, ranch, come back 24 hours later, and you'll see the squirrel is no longer on the mantle. So we're going to go find it. Abigail's hiding it from us because this thing is hideous. She doesn't want it on her mantle. But we're going to go into John's bedroom here, open up the chest, and take out the squirrel. Now, of course, we're going to just go put the squirrel back on the mantle. And it's going to be a little game of cat and mouse here between you and uh, presumably Abigail. No, she does not want this thing up there. She's going to block my path. But I'm going to make my way around and place the squirrel back on the mantle. We have to find this squirrel six times. So we're going to place this up here. We are going to leave the property, leave the ranch completely. We're going to sleep for 24 more hours again, come back, find the squirrels missing once again, go into John's bedroom, look in the fireplace, and we're going to find, well, what do you know, the squirrel. So we're going to go take that squirrel. We're going to go put this back up on the mantle once again. So putting it in the chest was a pretty obvious location, so Abigail put it in the fireplace. Well, guess what? She took it again. So you have to go leave the property, sleep for 24 hours, come back. This time she hid it up in the attic, and you can access the attic via the ladder inside the kitchen. So go up this ladder. There's going to be another chest over here, a trunk we can open up, and inside of here is where she hid the squirrel once again. So pick this up, put it back on the mantle, leave the property, sleep 24 hours, come back. Now, apparently the house isn't in a good place for her to hide it, so she's going to hide it near the barn. So we're going to go to the side of the barn. There's going to be a cart, and the cart is where you're going to find the squirrel statue. So once again, make sure you take the squirrel statue and put it back in the house, back on the mantle. And then leave the property once again. Sleep 24 hours, come back. Now she's going to hide it inside the barn up on the second level. There's going to be a ladder. As soon as you cl uh, climb this ladder, there's going to be a trunk right in front of you. We're going to open that up, find the squirrel once again, and then go back in the house and place it back on the mantle. Now, how badly does Abigail hate it? Well, I'll tell you. She's going to hide this uh, one last time. So you're going to have to sleep for 24 hours again. This time, she's climbing a mountain. So we're going to go over here to Mount uh, Sean, I think it's called. To so go to this location on the map, place a waypoint marker about where I'm at, where Mount Sean is. We're going to climb up to the very, very top of this. So make your way here. As I've already mentioned... Abigail hates this uh, squirrel statue, so she doesn't think you'll find it. Well, guess what? We're going to find it, and this time we're going to get the It's Art Trophy. Oh, careful. You don't want to slide off the side of this. You'd be fine if you walk on the left side here. And there is the squirrel statue once again. Very lengthy, very difficult process, especially with the finding the animals. It'll take a lot of hours, but that's how you do it. Thanks for watching, guys. Hit that like button and subscribe.